Guys, there were contacts on Tuesday night, Tuesday evening between Barcelona and Manchester United for Serginho Dest. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here, 48 hours, two final days of the window, many things are going to happen and today I want to clarify what's going on with Manchester United latest, I have many questions as always on Frankie de Jong but also Victor Osimhen, Marco Asensio and Frankie de Jong and not only because I will start with Serginho Dest with right back situation so let's jump into it together. And so guys, many questions on Manchester United, let me start with the fresh news of Martin Dubravka who had the medical at Manchester United, he was at Carrington around 6pm yesterday and uh, he completed a medical as new Manchester United player, there is an agreement with Newcastle loan with buy option close around £5 million, agreement with a player who only wanted Man United, now they are waiting to sign the contracts, it's the final step, then Dubravka will become new Man United second goalkeeper, he will follow Anthony Casemiro in this August transfer uh, window for Manchester United of course they've been busy also with other uh, signings like Lisandro, Malathia and of course uh, Christian Eriksen but now it's time to focus on the future in the next 48 hours what's going to happen guys there were contacts on Tuesday night Tuesday evening between Barcelona and Manchester United for Serginho Dest. Why? Because Eric Ten Hag is a big fan of Serginho Dest. Eric Ten Hag on Tuesday decided to explore this possibility, so to consider this possibility of signing Serginho Dest. Let me clarify and remember that Serginho Dest is out of the project at Barcelona. As of now, because it was basically the same with Ousmane Dembélé in January and we saw how the situation changed, so let's keep always uh, things open for players. But as of today, he's out of the project at Barcelona, the board wants him out, uh, Xavi wants him out so at the moment for Serginho Dest is over at Barcelona they are trying to find a solution and the reality from what I'm told is that um, Eric Ten Hag is exploring this possibility for Serginho Dest but internally into the board of Manchester United they will only allow this possibility if they find a solution for Juan Bissaka a positive solution it means uh, an important transfer for uh, Juan Bissaka maybe covering the world salary maybe permanent transfer so it's not easy in 48 hours to find a solution uh, there are two clubs interested Crystal Palace since long time West Ham let's see if they will decide to proceed for Juan Bissaka or not they have an interest but at the moment it's not a direct negotiation but it depends on Juan Bissaka if Juan Bissaka will leave Manchester United they are prepared to try for Dest because Eric Ten Hag wants to go for Dest if not at the moment everything is in standby so not an easy one but it's true that there are contacts for Serginho Dest so this is a situation around Dest and it's also true that they tried to do a swap deal Serginho Dest Meunier in the final days a few days ago but no agreement with Borussia Dortmund as things stand so let's follow Serginho Dest and Juan Bissaka situation till the end then many of your questions on Victor Osimhen guys no way for Osimhen on loan to United. I saw some rumors. Victor Osimhen is not going to Man United on loan. This is something that is not going to happen. There were some conversations between Mendes and Napoli for Cristiano Ronaldo a few days ago, but nothing is going to happen because uh, they wanted Man United to spend more than 100 million euros on Osimhen, and Man United already spent big money on Casemiro, on Lisandro, and of course on Anthony a few days ago. So at the moment, absolutely nothing going on for Osimhen, and the loan is not even discussed. So forget about it. Let's see what happens with um, Marco Asensio, guys. Let's see what happens uh, with Marco Asensio in general, but not for May United as of now, because for May United was a possibility uh, when they were considering potential alternatives to Anthony, Gakpo, uh, Asensio as potential names, but they always wanted Anthony as priority target. Asensio has been offered to many English clubs, to many Premier League clubs by his agent Jorge Mendes, but at the moment still no agreement reached with any club. But for May United, as of now, is not a topic. So let's see what's going to happen with uh, Marco Asensio. But at the moment, May United are keen on different things, not on Asensio. And it's important to mention also Diogo Dalot. I saw some rumors from Barcelona saying of a potential swap deal, Serginho Dest Dalot. Not even considered. Dalot will not leave May United. He's happy at May United. He's doing fantastic as a player I love, so I had no doubts. And Eric Ten Hag is really happy with him. So at the moment, absolutely not considered for Diogo Dalot to leave May United and to join any other club, including Barcelona. And then let me finish with Frankie de Jong. Guys, I still see many rumors around about Frankie, May United trying until the end. Guys, the only way to change Frankie de Jong situation is for Frankie to call his agents, to call Barcelona and say, okay, I want to leave. This has never happened in three months. 
Frankie always told his agents, also in May, also in June, when they had rumors of presentation at Old Trafford, of done deal and these kind of things. He always told his agents, I want to stay at my United. So at the moment, the only way to, I want to stay at Barcelona, of course, sorry. So the only way to change this situation is for Frankie to call his agents and change his mind. As of now, is not happening. As of now, there are no signals of negotiations ongoing to change his mind. Chelsea insisting since a long time. May United dreaming of Frankie, but at the moment, Frankie is not changing his mind. He's happy in Barcelona and he wants to stay at Barcelona. So let's see, but as of now, no movements, guys, on Frankie de Jong. And so, guys, let me know your opinion on these Manchester United moves 48 hours before the end of the window. So I wait for your comments, guys. Here, which player you want to make United as last-minute signing? Let's see if you're happy with the names I mentioned, with Sergio Dest. I wait for you, as always, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to like this video, to turn on the notification bell. And see you on Thursday, deadline day, 12 hours live on my channel, on Twitch. So, see you soon. Before this, Ciao.